everyone. Hello, good evening, good morning, good day, wherever you may be. Thank you for joining us tonight at Enlightened World Network. We are chanting and we're just going to keep going with the chanting. I think we're on like day 47 or something, right? Okay. And we're just going to keep going forever how long we feel inspired to do this. And we're, we're totally being led by the angels and led by spirit to do this chanting. And I'm here with my co-host, Karen Palmer, and with our guest, Mary Ann, one of our channeling family members. Yay! Ladies, how are we today? This Great. Is wonderful. I look so forward to this time with everybody together. I know. It's yeah. nice. Really Hi, good. Gabby. Oh, Gabby's with us. Hi, sweetheart. We're, we're just, just talk talking about, about your daughter, Erin. We hope that she's feeling much better today, and we're going to be chanting for her good health again, yes. and always. Always. We, we lift you and her up. Yes. And sending you much love and light tonight. So our first chant that we do is Om Gang Gana Pataye Namaha, and this is to break through barriers. So we're removing obstacles, whatever those obstacles are that's in our way, so that we can have clear sight. We can see very clearly what it is that we want to bring to us in the world. And we can see clearly the light that's in other people. So we, our intention is that we can see through the external. We no longer look and see the human self, but we see the spiritual self and know that we are all a spark of the divine and we are all the same. We are a part of the great oneness of all that is. That's our intention to break through all of those barriers, to release that energy of separation and to come into the oneness of all. And in doing so, we'll have more respect, more honor and more love going out in our world when we do this. So I will post the words to the chant for anyone that may be new to chanting with us. And those that are on here, please help us share this out. We want to share it out and get many people in here chanting. So thank you for being with us. And I'm going to find it now on Facebook so I can share it out and type the words in. Thank you all. So nice and slow. We'll do our first three nice and slow, and then we'll do 108 counted on the mala beads. And Terry will let us know when we have reached that magic number. Then we'll move into our second chant. We'd also like to remove all attachments. We'd like to remove all expectations. And we'd like to remove any illusions that we're experiencing. So we ask this, that we remove these obstacles and that these obstacles be removed with grace and ease and that it just be so fun and easy from this day forward for everyone. We just hold the vision that the obstacles are clearing, the illusions are coming into the truth and all is well, as the beautiful <laughs> Louise Hay always says, all is well. I seem to find myself saying that all the time, catching myself when my mind wanders off and I bring it back and tell it all is well, <laughs> all is well. So let's, let's have fun with that. Um, Terry, do we have a mudra that you wanna share or do we wanna just go with one that we've done. I love this one. I always do this one all the time now. <laughs> Thank you for that reminder because I love this one. Yeah, this, this one's for fear. So if you have fear of speaking your truth, this one really helps your throat chakra. Yes. It's really powerful. Our new one that we're going to learn tonight. It's another fairly easy one. You, uh, on each hand, Extend the index fingers and join the remaining fingers together with the thumb. So you, you hook the, the index fingers and then all the other fingers you're touching with your thumb. You hook the all the other fingers. Oh, we're touching with the thumb. Okay. Yeah. And then you, you got, uh, it says hook uh, with the left hand facing up and the right hand facing down. So the other way, Karen. So, so oh, right hand. The left, hands facing up. Facing, left hands facing up and the right hands facing down. Oh, right, right hand facing down. 
right here facing up. Okay. Nope, I got to touch those fingers. Okay. So put them, okay, here's, here's your left hand and here's the right hand, and they're going to be like the opposite ways instead of the same way. So the, le the left hand's facing up. Yeah, the left hand facing up. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to hook the right hand and that hand is facing down. Let me show you the picture again. Okay. Okay, now the thumb is touching all of the fingers except the index finger. Okay. All right. Almost, just flip one hand. The left hand is facing up, the right hand is facing down. Gotcha. There you go. And then the thumb is touching all the fingers on, on each hand. The thumb is touching all the fingers. Yes. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this one opens the airways, strengthens the lungs and the large intestine, stimulates the immune system, and evokes the spiritual insight of the inter interdependent nature of all phenomena. So it's a beautiful one for our breathing because breathing is so important when we're doing the mantras or when we're doing meditation, you want to get in touch with the, the, breath, the breath and bring it in deeply. So this strengthens the breath and opens the airways. Okay. So it is the Yama Pasha Mudra. Yama Pasha. All right. So let's do some Om Gangana Pataye Namaha. Okay, so we'll do three slow and then we will do our 108. So please remove all obstacles. Om Gangana Pataye Namaha. Please remove all obstacles. Om Gangana Pataye Namaha. Please remove all obstacles. Om Gangana Pataye Namaha. Om Gam Gana 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 Pataye Namaha. 
Om Gam Gana Pataye Namaha. Om Gam Gana Pataye Namaha. Om Gam Gana Pataye Namaha. Om Gam Gana Pataye Namaha. Om Gam Gana Pataye Namaha. Om Gam Gana Pataye Namaha. Om Gam Gana Pataye Namaha. Om Gam Gana Pataye Namaha. Om Gam Gana Pataye Namaha. Om Gam Gana Pataye Namaha. Om Gam Gana Pataye Namaha. Om Gam Gana Pataye Namaha. Om Gam Gana Pataye Namaha. Om Gam Gana Pataye Namaha. Om Gam Gana Pataye Namaha. Om Gam Gana Pataye Namaha. Om Gam Gana Pataye Namaha. Om Gam Gana Pataye Namaha. Om Gam Gana Pataye Namaha. Om Gam Gana Pataye Namaha. Om Gam Gana Pataye Namaha. Om Gam Gana Pataye Namaha. Breath in, feel what peace feels like, feel what love feels like, joy, bliss. All of the emotions that are evoked when we feel free, when we feel unlimited, when doors open and barriers and obstacles are moved out of our way, that feeling of freedom is where we go with our emotional state. So let's stay there as we go into our next mantra. Already lifted up, already full of beautiful, unconditional love. So it is. No, oh, it is. I'm really feeling that one releasing, really feeling that one releasing. It's wonderful. And our next, our next chant that we'll be doing and our next mantra that we ask you to all hold space with us as we invite, may all living beings be happy. May all living beings be healthy. May all living beings live in peace. And may all living beings be free from suffering. So we'll do Nam Ho Renge Kyo three times slowly. And then we'll do the 108. And Terry will let us know when we've reached that number. And thank you everybody for being here. So may all living beings be Happy Nam Yo Renge May all living beings be healthy Nam Yo Renge May all living beings live in peace and be free from suffering. Nam yo ho ren ke kyo. Nam yo ho ren ke kyo. 
Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Nam ya ho renge kyo. Hmm. Up into your heart space. Oh, feel that joy. Feel that bliss that comes up when we go into our true, authentic self. When we know without a doubt that we are a spark of the divine. We hear that voice. We hear the energy of angels singing, of God just speaking loudly to us. We know who we are. We know what we are. And we know that we are bringing forth into this world more light when we connect in this huge way with our own spark that's inside of us. See that spark just start to grow. The more you chant this chant, it gets brighter and brighter and goes out into our world. So watch it now as it flows out over Mother Earth. Let it go to every inhabitant of Earth. Everything that has energy, as everything does, just see it being affected by this wave of unconditional love. See the response that Mother Earth has to it. What a blessing to shine our light in this way, to feel our own divinity inside of us. All beings on earth feel peace. May all beings on earth feel their true, authentic self and see each other as that spark of the divine that's in them. May we all be mirrors for each other. 
showing what true love looks like. No judgment, no criticism, no demands, just love. Stay in that energy of love as you go through the rest of your day or night, wherever you may be. We're in different times around the world. So wherever you are, just know that somewhere in the world, somebody is chanting this beautiful chant, Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. It's being chanted around the clock. Feel the energy as it comes to you and reminds you again, you are a spark of the divine. Stay in that place of love. Only love is welcome inside our hearts. Everything else is released out with this chant. Let's all feel that together right now. Let's feel the connection heart to heart as we see the love flowing to each other and from each other. What we give out, we get back. So let's go into that place right now, right in our heart center and breathe in love and breathe out love into the world. May you be blessed. Namaste. Namaste. Wow. I don't know about you two, but these chants felt very powerful tonight. Definitely. They did. Every night, they feel so, like I said, it just feels so good to be together, to chant together, to have everybody who's chanting, you know, on the live stream and, and even, you know, everybody who comes back in and does it on the replay. It's just, it doesn't matter when you do the chant. You can come back and do the chants anytime because when we are in the unified field, there is no time, space, reality. We're, we're all one and you know, when we're with the angels, the angels don't have any limitations and we, we only limit, we only limit ourselves. And so, you know, we, when we chant, we go beyond our physical body. It's the same thing as meditation. We go beyond our physical body. We go beyond our limitations and we start to see, whoa, those obstacles weren't all that big of a deal, you know? Wow, that, you know, we, we start to realize how powerful we are as beings, magnificent beings of love and light, just having some temporary human challenges. And those challenges, we support each other in those challenges and we lift each other up so that nobody ever feels alone. But one thing that I learned today and another thing that really came through so loud and so clear from my beloved I am presence is you can never be alone. You're never alone. You are always, always surrounded by angels, by helpers, by guides. You are with your I am presence. So everywhere you go, you are carrying that presence with you. And, you know, I think that that's part of the um, illusion that we have separated from that love and light that we really are and that we have to like meditate in order to get there again we have to you know do certain things in order to be worthy of the angels in order to be worthy of god that those are old old stories and um and i really feel that um i'm really ready to let those go forever and not bring those back into this reality ever again so I know that there's like, you know, can you talk a little bit about that, Terry? Because you did a beautiful thing with the seven generations. And, and there are these, these, um, these old patterns that we, that we carry in our DNA. So I would just love for you to share a little bit about that. Because all of that's on the um, Enlightened World Network, the, all those classes that you did, right? Yes, all the classes. 
the ceremonies that we have done, it's all on Enlightened World Network, or you can go to enlightenedworld.online, and it's all housed there, where you can, uh, it's all. Um, oh, right on the website. On their website, and you can go in and find any of them there. But yes, we do carry the energy from our ancestors, and not just from the beings of our ancestors, but from the era when they lived. So just think if there was an era where there was war or where there was famine or um, something like plagues, you know, diseases, we carry that energy in our DNA. And we, but we can go back and clear those old paradigms. We can clear those old tapes. We can clear the energy through going in and setting intentions for that to be cleared from our DNA. And it's something that's so easy just to go into that state and asking the angels to help you and to guide you as you do that work. It's, a, it's inner work that we're doing. And the more we clear out that energy, the freer we become yeah. of any of those limitations. The same with this current lifetime that we're living. We have a lot of tapes that play, our old tapes from the minute we were born what our caregivers taught us or showed us, or maybe didn't show us, if we weren't shown love, then that's there in our mindset, in our subconscious mind of not being worthy of love if we weren't shown that, or if we were shown abuse or um, contrasts like racism. If there was something as we grew up that we felt different, we felt like we weren't worthy, we weren't good enough to fit in with everybody else. There's all these old tapes, but you know, um, one of my mentors, Lisa Nichols, she says, you don't have to go back there and erase anything. You can start this moment, set your intention right now that this is you going forward. This is your story that you're going to tell going forward that I am worthy, I am enough. So make those new positive tapes that's going to be in the front of your mind and playing constantly. And when you're triggered by one of those old memory imprints that come up, just go right back into, I am worthy. I am loved. I am enough. Mm -hmm. We can always turn around. We can always pivot away from whatever it is that's trying to bring us back into a 3D illusion. We can know our worthiness and these chants are helping tremendously for so many people all over the world. Yeah. To wake up to who they really are, their real authentic self. Yeah. And I am just so grateful to have found them and to yeah. have found this group and to have been to build this group of our chanting family here on Facebook. Yeah. This is amazing. And and Karen, you've said it before, it's a dream come true. It is. We can bond together and come together and learn from each other and learn how these chants are affecting each of us and what a difference it's making in our lives. And, and also to know that, you know, as we do this, we're, we're sending a, a message of evidence to the world. You see, what we're doing is um, fear is false evidence that appears real. And when we focus our attention on loving energy that is real, then, and remember that only love is real. And one of the wonderful things that you can say to yourself, oh, oh, as soon as any of these old stories or old patterns or old um, tapes start playing, like Terry said, I am loved, I am loving, and I am lovable forever. And when, when you have that, and my cup runs over, my cup runs over, I have more than enough love, I have more than enough abundance, I have more than enough time to be in service. And when you believe that, and that becomes your go-to, like your mind starts to, if you just this is neuroscience. So basically what we're doing here is rewiring our brain. 
from all the old patterns and the old stories. It's just like, you know, when you are programming your computer and you're putting, you're downloading something and then you're uploading something, right? So as you're downloading and then you're uploading, then you have, um, you know, that, that whole energy is being brought in and the old stuff is being deleted delete those files, <laughs> just delete those files right out. Have a nice, joyful, beautiful evening and, and think about what we talked about tonight. I mean, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna also um, upload a video for everyone that is an ancestral clearing um, activation that you can do. Um, it's been helping me so much because the old stories of, you know, inequality, they're over. We're not going to live those stories anymore. We're not living in those. We're not going to live in that that illusion that somebody is better and somebody is is inferior. You know, it's just it's not true. And um, and so we're gonna just start clearing all those illusions, getting rid of those. Om gum gana pataye namaha. We're getting rid of anything that is not love and light. We're just not going to play in those fields anymore. Thank you, my beautiful chanting family. I absolutely adore you. I love you. I cherish you. I know that we are making a huge difference on the planet. And I just want to thank Marianne for being so committed and for Gabby for being so committed and Charles and all of our beautiful family, Jean, all of our amazing hope, all, all the beautiful people who keep coming in, Chris Avilas and Jen and all you guys chanting back in Massachusetts. I'm just so grateful to all of you. We are going to have a world that works for all of us. We are moving into that frequency and we together have loved this dream into this new reality so realize how powerful you are realize that it's not by accident that you're hearing this your evidence right the evidence is there the the confirmation is there and every time we come together, every time that we hold each other up, and Gabby, I'm holding Erin up, and I've been doing, we've been doing time heals, and we've been sending her so much love, and you too, Gabby, because moms need the love too. When our when our children are suffering, it's very difficult for the mamas. <laughs> yes. So we got to keep those mamas uplifted too. <laughs> and the grandmas so namaste everybody namaste thank you karen thank you marianne thank you terry thank you everybody i'm so grateful for all of you I don't know how I would have survived this these months if i didn't have all of you in my life I'm so grateful. Thank you. I'm grateful too. Thanks. <laughs>